Okay, let's begin by right-clicking above your video track on the timeline and select Add Subtitle Track. Now position your playhead to where you want to add your first subtitle. Then right-click anywhere on your subtitle track and select Add Subtitle. Alright, now that I have my subtitle clip, I'm just going to drag its end to change its duration so that it matches what's on screen. Okay, now make sure your subtitle clip is selected and go over to the inspector where you can change its text. And there we have our basic custom subtitle. To change how your text looks, go over to the Track Style tab. In here, you can format your text however you want, but to keep things simple, I'll just change my text color to black, increase its size, and get rid of that stroke around it. Once you're done editing your first subtitle, position the playhead to where you want to put your next one. And make sure your first subtitle is still selected. Then go over to the Captions tab, and click Add New to add another subtitle clip at the playhead's position. If I were to subtitle this whole video, I'd edit this new subtitle and then keep adding new ones until I'm finished. Now to export your video with your new subtitles, let's go down here to the Deliver tab. Scroll down to where it says Subtitle Settings and double click that to uncollapse it. In here, first you'll want to check the Export Subtitle checkbox. For the format, the separate file with the SRT format is generally good for YouTube. Burn into video is good for social media posts where you want your subtitles to always be on. Or you could use the embedded captions option which will let the user toggle them on and off with their TV remote. Finally, you can include the subtitle track files in the export if you'd like to. Once you're finished, just export your video like usual by adding it to the render queue, and then starting the render. Okay, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.